Welcome to this week's Off-Road Wednesday, where we are working on our Subaru Robin 9 horse, Yerf Dog. Yerf Dog! We are kind of buttoning up what we didn't finish last time. Last time we got it running, barely. We didn't have a belt that fit well. We don't have electric start, but we're gonna work on those things today. We're also gonna work on a permanent fuel tank, get this thing ready to go for Busco Beach, so it'll hang with the Murray. And our factory muffler also hits the frame under enough compression, so we're also gonna be coming up with a header, header. with a nice muffler. do a double check, make sure everything's gonna line up. I had to cut the pipe a little bit more to make it fit. It's still gonna kiss the frame under the heaviest jumps and bumps. I'm not too concerned, I'm tired of messing with it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and weld it up, finally install it. Serious, right? And I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah, I mean that, that's what I'm saying. Under the heaviest jumps and bumps. Okay. But good otherwise. Yeah. So we got to work on this fuel tank next. Yes, sir. Aaron, Let's check back. out one of the tanks off of one of the 80 cc's. Ooh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Nasty fuel there, bud. Yeah, that is a cute tank. Isn't it though? We will probably get about a mile on this, but it'll be fine. Yeah. I mean... Man, I don't see a problem here. To do it, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be working on a battery tray so we can mount our battery, have electric start, have electric accessories like heated seats and cooled seats and air conditioning and serious radio. So, I wanna put some gas in. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna pull start it right now. We just wanna go for a ride before we completely lose the light. But battery tray's done. Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Fuel tank is on. Looks pretty good too, man. It's just kind of puny. Yeah, it is a little on the small side, but yep. it'll be all right. You got the lines hooked up and everything? Yes, sir. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's up? It's got the carb. Uh, the pod and the header, and we didn't jet the carburetor, so it's going to be a little on the uh, bulimic side. Yeah, all right, we'll just have we'll, to we'll see what happens. We'll just give it a shot, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll just keep the choke on. Yeah. Don't let it go. You know what? I think we got a fuel problem. We got a fuel delivery problem. I hope the uh, filter. Tank. I hope the filter is not clogged Might on the be tank. Jacked. Yeah. I'm thinking we remove this bolt and. Uh, it should be pretty full. It'll drain down, but I want to see the flow. All right, we should have an immediate like drain first. Look at that. We should have more fuel than that. 
this was, old fuel tank. It could be a uh, clogged filter. Clogged filter. Right. Wait, let me see if I this changes. It seems to have changed a little. Yeah, the relieving the pressure. Yeah. So that that should be it. Lot. That should be it. Really? Yeah. That should be it. So the cap. To, it's probably the cap. cap. Yeah, we need to put the other cap on. No. I've got post from Gear Power Spokes. That's the belt. Oh, no oh, way. You think so? Sorry. No yeah. delivery. I need a signature. <laughs> it's probably a belt, right? I think it's going to be a belt. Oh, look, guys, post. Oh. Post. Shoes. All right, we got the post. <laughs> got some. You gonna posts. open it? I got. Yeah. I got a razor blade got a here. Knife? I sure hope that's gonna be the belt for this thing. I hope so too. That would be just in the nick of time. We'd have to go for another ride. Oh yeah. We got belt. Yeah, dude. <sighs> and a sticker. All right, we must put that sticker. Sweet. On. Two belts. Two belts. Boy, they came through, buddy. I know. It was loose, wasn't it? It was very loose. Okay. Now I just want to talk in an oh, English but, accent. We gotta fix, we gotta space that thing too because it's too oh, far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. There it it's is. moving right off. Oh, man. Don't right. lose our idler bushing. Yeah, don't lose the idler bushing. Okay. Oh, yes. Goes right on. All right, and now we need another washer, right? Uh, no, it looks like it. That'll be fine. Looks like it'll be fine. Just kick that out. You want me to hold the, uh, I got, got it. it. Well, cool, dude. Dude, let's go for a ride. All right. Uh, uh, let me, let me uh, tie up the wiring. Oh, yeah, it should be fast now. Hope so. Yeah. Let's try it. <laughs> it's wheeled tires. Oh, wow. It's pretty fast. <laughs> it's so fast. Gotta work on these brakes, buddy. We'll get it all sorted out. Things pretty quick. Yeah. It's got some stones for 258 cc's. Uh, nine horse? Yeah, nine yeah. horse. 14 torque though. Which, uh, after we're done with uh, jetting the carb and it, doing it, stuff, yeah, it, it'll have 12 at least. 12, yeah. yeah. Easy. These things always pick up a ton of power by doing that yeah. stuff. It's good. Yeah. It's so smooth, man. It, I don't know. There's something about this engine that feels just smoother. Cool. All right. We'll see y'all in a second. We are working on the Yerf Diggity Dog. We still need to run out and grab some wire, run a couple other errands, maybe grab a tap. So, let's go ahead and do that. Got some 14 gauge wire here. Next stop. Final stop, had to pick up a ladder to take home. Yep. So let's pick it up, carry it, take it on home. All right, man, we got our wiring, we got our flip switches, we got our tap. You wanna make something happen? Man. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that shaft. It's a pain, this ratchet. John. Yeah. Can I go a little bit more? Dude, I, I don't think that's a good idea. It was a four and a half dollar yeah. tap. Yeah, we've gone that deep in the shaft. <laughs> this, uh, man, I hate doing this though. Yeah. I mean, this is so not us. Well. Um, we'll just get a shorter bolt, but for testing purposes, this will be fine. Tim called and was like, hey, that's his only raid, rated for like seven horsepower, and this thing's making nine. So we, su we suspect it's not gonna last forever, but we're just gonna try it, we'll roll with it. Take it easy. Well, yeah, well, yeah. we're not gonna take it easy at Besco Beach next week, but. We'll see, we're gonna put it to the test. Can you give her a tack? Go for it. Tack a doodle do. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby.
let that cool down, put Sounds the battery cool. in it and start wiring. Yes, sir. This little button is the key to a push button start go-kart. We picked it up from the parts store and our go-kart conveniently has a nice little spot for us to mount it. So the kill switch is on the other side, so we're just gonna wire this up here and uh, yeah, have a push button start go-kart. I have been, what have I been doing? Oh, the chain was hitting this uh, torque converter a little bit, causing it to go that, 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 that. Sound about right? Yep. So I trimmed on the torque converter pulley a little bit. It, it wasn't much, just, just a little bit. And then one uh, like here or something. It's all good. And then we can always like pretty it up whenever we do go back and do heated seats and air conditioning. Yep, navigation yep. and yep. backup cameras. Dude! <laughs> it doesn't have reverse. Alright, dude, I'm gonna hit the starter just see what happens. Dude. Push button start. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Here's the test. Oh, this ain't nothing, dude. You know what? I'm taking it easy. Yeah. That's the test. Oh, you want? Jeez. Yeah. That was nothing, dude. you can do that one. That is pretty steep. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Ooh. Oh. Dude, are you okay? Dude, are you good? I'm good. Uh, <laughs> all right. That's a first. <laughs> That is a first for us, man. Uh, uh, I man, man, I just I just want to say I love you, and uh, I never meant to steer you wrong, and uh, I'm glad you're still here with us, man. Where's my helmet? Oh, yeah, it's a, a good question. <laughs> I told you, man, it was straight up. It's not gonna, yeah, go up a straight up. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to pop my back, bud. All right, man. Yeah, uh, how did that happen? <laughs> that looks like a your go kart. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, we jacked we jacked it up, dude. Look. Because now we have. Over. Yeah, because now we have a uh, tie rod digging into the tire. <sighs> All right, that'll get us back. But. I think we need to take the wheel off and do a little something, something. Okay. Right, don't kill me. Very nice. I'm sorry, man. It's all right. You got uh, some stuff on your shirt. Oh, really? Some brown stains. From from the, uh, from this thing? Yeah. From the rust? <laughs> well, maybe from you, Where? I don't know. <laughs> so thanks for watching this episode of Off-Road Wednesday. Remember to uh, not try this stuff at home, uh, cause you can flip your go-karts and get really hurt. Wreck your back. And wreck your back. Next week we are headed back to Busco Beach. We're taking the Subaru nine horse surf dog and we're taking the Murray. We're gonna do a little bit of a 
competition, uh, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Pitting one up against the other. See which one comes out on top. Uh, we gotta thank Go Power Sports. We got half their torque converter um, on our nine horse Subaru engine. Four, and it's only rated for seven horsepower. So we're gonna see how long it lasts. They also make a 13 horse one. So for all you guys running these bigger engines, uh, it's the 40 series torque converter you're gonna wanna look for. Anyway, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. New, uh, new merchandise, hats, hoodies, stickers, shirts, cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. We will see you, uh, Ike will see you tomorrow in Ike's Adventures, then we'll see you Monday. But till then, we'll see you.